Here's an income tax problem. We're given a tax table, and we're asked to find how much someone who is married and filing separately from their spouse will owe on a taxable income of 98400 The first step with a problem like this, where we have the taxable income, and we want to find the tax that's owed, is to split up the income into these different tax brackets. Now again, the way this works is you can pretend that you have a number of barrels, poorly drawn as these are, let's pretend they're barrels. And into each of these barrels, you put some money. Now the first barrel corresponds to the 10% bracket, the second barrel corresponds to the 15% bracket, the third to the 25% bracket, the fourth to the 28% bracket, and so on. As many barrels as you need. And then above these barrels, you line up all of your money, from dollar number one all the way up to dollar number 98,400. As you split these up, the first $9,075, everything from dollar number one up through dollar number 9,075 goes into the first barrel. Then the next dollars all the way up to dollar number 36,900 go into the second barrel. Everything from that point on to dollar number 74,425 go into the third barrel and so on. So each dollar only goes into one barrel and these brackets split up your money and divide it up as far as how much gets taxed from each group. So for instance, for this person, the amount that would go into the 10% bracket is the 9,075. To find how much goes into the 15% bracket, we need to subtract 36,900 minus 9,075. And this will give us how many of their dollars fit into this bracket. The difference between those is 27,825. So $27,825 go into the 15% bracket. We do the same with the next two brackets. So for instance, for the 25% bracket, we subtract 74,425 minus 36,900 to find out how many dollars go in that second bracket. In this case, we find that that's 37,525. So into the third bracket, we put $37,525. And then we have the fourth bracket, the 28% bracket. Again, here, we're putting the rest of our money in here. Notice that with a taxable income of 98,400, we don't spill over into the fifth bracket. We have dollars number 74,425 up through 98,400. So those are the only remaining ones. So to find how many go in that fourth bracket, we take our final amount minus 74,425. If we had more than 113,425, we would fill up this whole barrel and spill over into the next one. But for now, since we stop at 98,400, we subtract these and get 23,975. So in the fourth bracket, we have $23,975. And the next step is to figure out how much gets taxed from each bracket. Now in the first bracket there's $9,075 and 10% 10 of that gets taxed so we calculate 10% of 9,075 which is $907.50. Similarly 15% of 27,825 is $4,173.75. 25% of 37,525 is 9,381 and 25 cents. And 28% of 23,975 is $6,713 even. So this is how much gets taxed from each bracket and the total tax that's owed is the sum of these four numbers, the sum of these four taxed amounts. So our final step is to add these four together. Adding them up, we get a total of 21,175 and 50 cents. So that is the final tax owed. So there's a lot of steps to this process, but it all boils down to splitting the taxable income into these different brackets, figuring out how much goes into each bracket, and then taking that appropriate percentage of the amount in that bracket and adding up all those taxes owed.